Welcome here today to another edition of NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode on the channel. I'm Keegan Schneider. We're going to get into this one. Just one race on the video. New Hampshire, Foxwoods Resort Casino 301. Let's get right on into this one. So where we left off, uh, we had a 33rd place finish at Kentucky and a 10th place finish in the Brickyard 400 in the last video. I thought we were going to be able to get the upgrade. I guess we were just short. We're less than $100,000 away, so I think no matter where we finish this one, uh, we should be good to go to get that incentive, or sorry, not the incentive, but to uh, get that upgrade, get that third car in the garage, uh, and then obviously on top of that we can hire two more employees and then really start uh, developing the engine, the suspension, the aero, and uh, maybe even the pit crew. Uh, that's where a lot of our income's really going to be huge, so... Uh, we'll see what we've got here. We're starting 25th, not a bad qualifying effort. Uh, definitely going to be a track position kind of a day as usual. That's our season uh, with how slow we've been typically, but we'll see. Still in the top 30. David Reagan actually just moved into the top 30. We've got 12 different winners on the season, so yeah, only four spots on points as of right now. And I believe we have four races left till the playoffs after this race, so we're still not sure if anybody's going to get in on points. We uh, don't know that yet. Oh, Kenseth got loose. Just gonna get to the inside. Of, oh man! <laughs> Didn't think that was gonna. Oh boy, the Benedetta almost went up the middle. We had a pretty solid initial start, honestly. One mile racetrack. These shorter tracks tend to play out for us a little bit better. About to slid into Byron there. Man, the Benedetta looks fast. Rubbing up against William there. I think we got to be aggressive today. We're going to want to have a good run. Couldn't quite clear William, though. Cleared to Benedetto. These first two stages are really short. I don't know what we do at the end of the stage. I don't know if we should pit. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the stage links are... Yeah, this first stage is short. I don't think the second stage will be, so we'll probably have to pit regardless I don't know we'll see starting to lean towards I think we're gonna have to pit I'm probably 22nd right now, though. I'm not going to lie. Tell you what, though. Ryan Priest had a rough day at Kentucky. Going through the grass into the uh, pit wall. <laughs> Those of you that uh, watched the last video, and he finished dead last, so he only got one point. He's still in the top 32, but between us, Priest, and David Reagan, we're barely clinging on to the top 30 right now with wins, so... Each of us have one win. Actually, we have two. They have one. It's definitely a scratch and claw kind of game. Everything we can get here. Still lacking that straightaway speed. We're definitely getting them in the corners here, though. That's for sure. Good run on the exit at turn four. Get that side draft on McDowell. Trying to hold him on the straightaways. Pass him into turns one and two. There we go. Worked out perfectly. I drove it in deep on purpose. I'm trying to get every position I can right now. Oh, barely cleared Custer, too. I definitely drove it in deep on Alex Bowman. I didn't want to waste any more time. We're up to 16th. There was a lot of spots up for grabs there. I could pass up on the opportunity. Trying to get underneath of Elliott's. Got the power down, just couldn't quite get under him. He really protected the bottom well. It looks like we're going to finish 16th in the stage. We'll try to slide job on Elliott. 15th. Yep, got him. 
Great pass. 15th in stage one. I did not see that coming today. No cautions either, so even better for us. It looks like everybody's going to be pitting here. So Keselowski wins the first stage. We better have a pick. Dang it, lost seven spots. How is our pick crew this slow still? I swear, man. If I would have known we were going to be this bad, I wouldn't have spent that extra money. We could have had our third car by now. See if we can get down to the bottom here. Oh, yep. Behind Jimmy. Oh, man. We barely cleared him. I mean, barely cleared him. 21st. Oh, Tyler. No, oh, hang on to it. <laughs> Don't DNF. Michael McDowell really sent it into turn one. We got 12 laps in this stage, four laps longer. Let's see. We can keep up with these guys just ahead of us. I think we've got a chance to get stage points, at least one. Finishing 10th. We got 10 to go. We definitely need this to stay green, though, if we're going to get stage points. Final stage will likely be one or two laps longer, if I had to guess. Wouldn't be much longer. I can guarantee that much. Really able to enter the corner a little bit higher, back it off in the center, get the good drive off. It's definitely the preferred line on my behalf at this racetrack. We're running it well in the career mode, so that's good to see. Definitely got a huge wad of cars not too far ahead of us, too. We're gaining ground on them slowly. I don't think we're going to get him this corner, but I think we're going to try to get him the following corner. Oh, we drove it in a little too deep. Might not have a shot in one and two. I don't know. No, oh, we had to get out of the gas. Yeah, we're not going to have a shot there. We could have stayed in the gas. Kind of got back into it a little too soon, but we overran the start of the corner. And that definitely allowed us to overrun the exit. Corey LaJoy had a big run on us there for a second. I think we got a shot to gain some spots here in this lap. Dang it. I really thought we were going to stay a lot closer. Oh, we're going to send it. Yeah, we are going to... Oh, no! I drove it in too deep. I got in the grass. Uh, uh. Yeah, Truex to get on by. I accidentally hit you, bud. Kind of clipped the grass, and I about spun out. It just shot me straight up the track. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get stage points. We seem a little faster in stage one. Even on straightaway speed alone. For whatever reason. I don't know. Five more laps. And we are right there on Truex, too. Another position if we can get around him. There we go. Oh, he crosses over. Ah, ah, ah. I kind of came down into him. Dang it. He's going to cross over. Well played.
Oh, we're loose. We're loose. No! Oh, how are we still in this race? Oh, they stay. Oh, my God. <laughs> there was some huge crunching going on behind me. I didn't see it, but they stacked up. Oh, how are we not out of the race? Oh, my gosh. We are so lucky. So, so lucky. Well, problem is we're back to last. Yeah, Chase got a lot of damage, too. He didn't hit us. Somebody hit him, and I think he might have went into the barrels. Oops. Kind of downshifted. A little too, uh, a little too quickly. I shouldn't have downshifted at all. I meant to say it upshifted too quickly, therefore I had to downshift. That's what I meant to say. All right. Well, I'm not going to lie. That, uh, that kind of sucked. I just got really loose and I overcorrected it. That was a long slide too. I shouldn't have done that. I had to have known it was going to come back across on me at some point. And we were having such a good day too. Such a good day. Not over yet. It's going to be a lot harder to get that top 20, though. Well, we know everybody's going to be able to make it on fuel. So hard to pass here. I mean, look at this. It, we're stuck in 35th, even though we were like a 20th place car at least all day. Sucks. Oh, sorry. We'll say Landing Castle. Sorry, Quinn. Look at how much straightaway speed and how much horsepower that Starcom's got down the straightaways compared to us. On a mile racetrack, it's not even a... Like, it's considered an intermediate, but I don't consider it intermediated it's a short track oh Thirty-fourth still, man. We might have taken a lot of speed out of it when we wrecked too. That's not impossible. I mean, we're getting desperate here, really desperate. This is a race we should not finish this badly in. So the fact that we're with eleven laps to go in the race, still sitting in thirty-fourth, that is uh, not good at all. We don't deserve this. That was my fault for losing the track position, too. 100% my fault for wrecking while we were running 15th, too. It's just amazing that we just can't get that speed back. All right, 10 more laps. Oh, bump. Dang it, had to get out of the gas. <laughs> I was going to get in the wall after I got in the sight of David Reagan. Well, there's a caution. I'm pitting. I'm taking four fresh tires. I am pitting under this caution. Without question. All right. Alex Bowman pit too. I don't know where he was at, but... Uh, well, I guess he was running right around 20th most of the race, so he's uh, he's pitting. Hey, Chase Elliott, let's show how hard it is to pass because... I mean, he petted too, and he's still back here. Tough day for Chase. Six to go. All right, well. We've got the four fresh Goodyears. Let's make it work. Bobby Carter got loose there. Yeah, Bowman just followed me on the inside. I don't know how he got to the bottom so quickly, but... Probably after I passed him. I passed him, he probably jumped down behind me. 
Oh, now he got stuck on the outside somehow, and I'm not sure how. See, this is still pulling me down the straightaways. We're just getting a little bit better corner speed with the four fresh Goodyears. We might get back into the top 15 still. I have faith. Problem is, we only got four to go this time. Oh, Michael! I mean, I kind of slid up slightly, but... Oh, man, we barely cleared Jimmy. Second time we barely cleared Jimmy. Clean pass on him both times, though. Really didn't want to go into that corner very high like I did. Ah, move! Man, that cut a lot of our straightaway speed down, down the back. Look out, people! Coming through. You guys couldn't tell. I'm getting a little aggressive. <laughs> Back up to the top 20, though. I mean, it's what you got to do. Even with the fresh tires, it's just so hard to pass here. Oh, man. A lot of you guys don't deserve this. Hey, we got another caution with two to go. That'll help. We're at 18th. That'll buy us a little bit more time. Problem is we're restarting on the top. Overtime. I did not think that was going to happen. All right, well. We might luck our way into a top 10. Oh, we didn't get a good restart. Oh, we got to get to the bottom here. Go, Eric. Go, Eric. Ah, uh, he didn't go. Sorry, Maddie. Lost a lot of ground getting into the corner, but I gained a lot on exit because I was a little aggressive. Using a little rub and run action on Benedetto. No, oh, I tried to keep it off of him. Oh, four wide. We almost got turned by Suarez when we were going four wide there. We're in 13th. We have a shot at a top 10. I want it badly. Trust me, we probably wouldn't be this aggressive if we weren't this slow. We got a shot at a top 10 here. I'm going to send it and try to get the top 10. Uh. Ninth place. Let's go. I'll take it. Ninth place at New Hampshire. That's another top 10 on the season. We needed that. If we want to stay in the top 30 in points, we needed that. Joey Logano gets the win. I'd assume he's already won this year. We are for sure getting the upgrade. We move up to 27th in points. David Reagan falls back out of the top 30. Uh, Ryan Priest is sitting well for himself. He had a decent run today. All right, so let's upgrade and then get out of here. I think we can, uh, man, as much as road course chassis sounds good, because we got, actually, no, road course is, no, we're going to Michigan and then Watkins Glen. So we can get the road course car souped up for Watkins Glen. I think we're going to go with a road course car. We got almost $3 million. Definitely going to hire two more employees. Yeah, it wasn't really smooth driving at all. <laughs> uh, I was aggressive. I knew I had to be for that top 10. Yeah, sorry, Bubba. I, I don't remember hitting you specifically, but I probably did hit you, so I'll apologize. I was definitely uh, racing a little in over my head there. Try and get that top 10. Bubba knows about being aggressive to get those top 10s because it means a lot for these smaller teams. All right. So on to Michigan. All right. First and foremost, we're adding another car. It's going to be a road course. So we're going to have some people working on this road course chassis. Uh, let's see, we can hire a couple more employees. So let's get another arrow. 
and another suspension person. Andrew Mavis, welcome to the team. All right. So now we start upgrading here. Let's get Mavis to a five for starters here. Let's get... Uh, Rachel. Oh, let's go seven for these guys. Get injured to a seven. All right, so that gives us just under fifty-one thousand dollars. All right, let's check out the work plan. First and foremost, we need this Nish Michigan Michigan car built up. Uh, we're going to be maxed out on the suspension and the engine. The arrow is going to be lacking one for this week. And then we need some people working. You know what? We probably could upgrade Miles here. One more on the engine. Try to get it as close to an 85 as we can. Well, okay. Well, now that I think about this, the problem is we're not going to get to an 85 because... Just don't have that kind of uh, budget, I guess. I was hoping we could, but that's all right. We're still going to have people working on the road course chassis. We're going to make sure that's all ready to go, 80s all the way around there. So uh, there we go. All right. Hopefully that's a good idea. Uh, subscribe for more daily NASCAR content. Hit the like button down below if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next crew mode episode.